Okay. So your favorite is hidden inside the. Huh? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> You're gross. Why does it look so gross? Primary school ah, uh, damn long already. Eh. Do you know what we're gonna do today? If I'm at the zoo, probably some endangered animal. You probably don't know this, I don't really like animals. <laughs> now we're gonna like go professional food. For the animals? Maybe. <laughs> The uninitiated might think that this is, we are at a uh, wet market. Hello! Mm. You'll feed all the animals here? Yep. Oh, so wow. this is where all the food will be transported here first and then we'll deliver to wherever the section. And you all are preparing it since what time? Since 7am in the morning and we end at 4.30. Wow, these animals are luxurious eh. We are preparing food for over 15,000 animals over here. So with our centralized kitchen, we are able to better control the quality of the food that we are sending out. Do you all ever taste? Huh? You know like chef, they cook, then they taste, right? Uh, no, because I'm not an animal. Oh. <laughs> and this is the station to cut out all the meat. As much as possible, we'll try to use uh, sustainable meat. Huh? Oh. So as well, you can see over here, we have uh, kangaroo meat, but we also have chicken, venison, which is also a type of beef. We also prepare seafood here. This includes like prawns, mussels. They really eat very well. Uh. Seeds, yes. <laughs> to ensure that our animals are healthy, we try to formulate their diet closely as much as possible to the wild. We also add additional dry feed and supplements. It's adjustable, guys. Ergonomics. First task I have for you today will be you trying out to prepare food but first let's wash hands. Wash hands. Imagining like surgeon, you know, when they wear they look very glam. <laughs> it's not happening. Guys, it's them! Two hours later. Okay, done! Wow! I wanna be an animal in the zoo. Are y'all recruiting animals? So as you can see over here in the diet sheet. We have the name of the animals that we're preparing for, the category, and also the size. Yo, witness my beautiful cutting skills. It's easier if you use the edge of your knife. Uh, what a pro! I think One your time. corn gonna spoil. Yeah, Ooh. there you go. Do you cook at home? You'll be so helpful in the kitchen. But I'm already helpful here, so I don't need to be. <laughs> you can cover it. Look at this box. It's like exploding with goodness. Okay, I know it looks very nice to cut fruits for them, but please don't. Uh, PSA, everybody. Please don't feed uh, wild animals food uh, or fruits. Oh, we are over here to the meat. Okay. okay. So your favourite is hidden inside the... Huh? Candy. What is it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're gross! Why does it look so gross? It's so big! Where should I touch? Like the head or the tail? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's <laughs> Actually, up to now, right, I've never touched a dead person. This one? You haven't yeah, touched? Never. I will use a scooper, actually. Then you never give me a scooper! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, why is my good song coming out? It's very... Beautiful! <laughs> hey, I can still hear them! Liar. No, you hear the... No la. You're done. I don't have veggies. Thank you for the vegetables. <laughs> so how long have you been working here? Almost three years now. So you love animals? Mm, yes, <laughs> I love animals. Is there a favourite animal? Yeah, I really love uh, giraffes. The prints on their body. Mm, it's like, it? yeah, it's unique to each and every single giraffe. You spend very long hours looking at okay, their spots. Also, they have very beautiful eyelashes. What do you find the most satisfying about your job? At the end of the day, I know that my work contributes to the animal welfare, ensuring that they get their nutritional needs. Is it because when they eat well, they are in like, they have better well-being, then that is actually a good condition for them to breed? Eventually breed, yes. Uh, do people have any like misconceptions? Uh, people always think that the food that we are giving to our animals are of not good quality, mm. of uh, spoiled. Yeah. They eat really well. Very well. Very well. Like, it's so fresh. The yeah. foods are sent to us every single day. Is there anything you learn from your job that surprised you even? It's not just from doing research and then just putting the 
food it goes along all the way to uh, working with the keepers and getting feedback from the keepers. So it's a lot of work that people don't see mm -hmm. but then I guess when you step into the kitchen it's like a whole operation on its own. Should I go and take more chilli? Can I run <laughs> off and take more chilli? <laughs> I'm uh, Li Xian. I am a night safari keeper and I take care of the pangolins. Basically, scaly and eaters. Yeah, so today we're going to prepare the diet for them. They eat this every day? Yes, they eat this every day. Oh, they don't get bored? Eh? I haven't had a chance to ask them, <laughs> so I wouldn't know. Then this recipe is you create one? Ah? Yeah, I'm oh, actually really? the Gordon Ramsay of the <laughs> pangolins. <laughs> so actually, a keeper with a nutritionist yeah, to come with the diet. So you can put in the water first. Okay, bye. Goodbye. 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 Have a nice time in the smoothie thing. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Would you like a taste? No thanks. Okay, then you can add in the eggs. Then you mix together. So there was one time, right? I was baking cookies. Oh. Then the bagmolin crawled into my toilet. Then what? I only saw the <laughs> tail. <laughs> then I was like, oh my god, there's a crocodile in my toilet. Eh. <laughs> then after that, it slowly like sorted out of the toilet. Oh, so cute. Yeah. What is like so special about like the pangolin? Pangolins are actually critically endangered animals uh, and they're also native to Singapore. For us at Night Safari, they are special to us because we are the first to breed them. We are one of the first zoos to take care of them. Now we can go and feed the pangolins. Oh, we're going to feed pangolins? You will oh. be putting in the ants eggs in this artificial insect mouth. So this is supposed to mimic what they would eat from in the wild. Oh my god, you mean the snout is so long, it can reach here? No, 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 their tongue is long. Oh, their tongue is this long? Longer than this. Wow! There you go. I was thinking it can scatter around, then oh, she can okay. like... Oh, okay. But so you were saying like the way they move very cute. Ah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because you know they're, so? they're quite chubby, then they're like... <laughs> the beast, the there beast. There she the beast. goes. Whoa. Wow, her, she's really sniffing it. She's like, what's her name? Uh, her name is Nita. Oh, the tongue. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit like a lizard, right? Are they same family? Uh, what? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> so she's now like looking for wherever you splattered. Yes, uh, yes. And they can sniff it out, right? Yeah, they can. Ooh! Ooh! The tongue very, very long. Oh, I get you about the feet. It's them cute. Right, right. It looks yeah. like baby feet. It's so chunky. She's really getting into it. Okay, Nita, go home, go sleep. We work okay, you too much. Okay, go home. Bye, Nita. Good night. Or good morning for you. But good night for us. Yeah, I think it was uh, very eye-opening. What stood out to me the most is the central kitchen. You never think that so much goes into taking care of the animals. The kind of variety is Amazing ah. During COVID and all that, like the zoos can close, but the animals are still here and they still need to be taken care of. There is a team of very passionate like people running this space lah. And like they truly care for the animals and they truly care about the work that they do. And also like uh, conserve animals in one part of the whole big picture lah. Last words is just if you come across any pangolins in your toilet, uh, be friendly to them and show them the way out. <laughs> Which you can put your hand for scale. You pick up one. <laughs> Idiot. Eh. I'm scared. <laughs>